Welcome to Beneath the Surface with Scott Gibson. The old saying, sell in May and go away, seems to have come earlier this year. How will it affect the second part of the strategy, the buy again on Labor Day? Scott Gibson sat down with Mickey Falb of the Mercenary Geologist to discuss uranium and other metals and how to invest in the stock market over the summer. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. I'm here with Mickey Fulp, MercenaryGeologist.com. Thanks for being with us, Mickey. Pleasure once again, Scott. Yes. Now, last time we were talking, we talked a little bit about uranium and what was happening there. Um, I'd love to touch on, if you could, uranium and how that sort of ties in with the seasonality of the metals markets and uh, what took place sort of in the March time frame. Well, we had a very boisterous market, uh, really, and it started going down a little bit uh, at the first of the year. But, but we had bits of rallies, almost had market corrections, or in commodities anyway. Uh, and then PDAC came. And all of a sudden the selling started. And it looked to me like, you know the old adage, sell in May and go away. Well, I think some pros were front running that idea. Yes, yes, it did seem like that. And, and with the more, less of a seasonality factor, more of an investment factor, that it's really the investors that are driving this market. And the, especially the guys in Toronto, New York, they right. see what's happening and they can do that. And right. it had a pretty big effect on the market this year. Yeah, yeah. So then we had Fukushima after that. Uh, right. I think that was the Friday right after PDAC ended. Yeah. So you combine that with the idea that we, there's been a lot of private placement money come into the market. Yeah. Pros are starting to take money off the table. And we had Fukushima, uranium kind of cratered on us, and it cascaded from there. Yes. Now, what does that say for you in terms of what's going to happen over the rest of the summer? Because, you know, the old sell in May, buy again in Labor Day is sort of the saying. Um, what's the perspective this year? Does the fact that the sort of selling started in March as opposed to May have an effect? And, and what's your thoughts on what's well, going to happen over the summer? Uh, to tell you the truth, I think it's just going to prolong the agony, if you will, because we still saw the selling may go away. That's probably the retail market coming in. So so people in in the business perhaps start selling in March. The, mar uh, the markets have been off. Commodities have corrected uh, somewhat and are, are, are kind of took took a dip and then made a bounce and, and gold and silver have started to come back. But we're coming into now the seasonal so, summer doldrums and I don't see anything that's going to change that at this point. And how are you going to spend your summer then if there's not going to be a lot of buying opportunities? You're a geologist. Are you going to be out in the field looking at projects? Are you going to be glued to a computer doing research? Well, I'll your be in the field a lot this summer. I've just come off. This is uh, day 31 of a 36-day road trip. Eight countries, uh, six in Europe. Uh, visited several projects. I will be in the field a lot this summer uh, and, and it's a good time to be in the fields. Northern seasons for uh, uh, field work and drilling and and uh, we will keep an eye on the markets but right now I think it's uh, probably too early to buy uh, wholesale. Now what I would say is if you know fundamentally strong stocks you put in stink bids and buy those on weakness. So. So, so going in and putting bids in the market at, at low prices, maybe below market, to see if they get hit. Yeah. The stink and, and if that one gets filled, then you've got one below that. So stocks that are very fundamentally strong that you like, this idea of buying on weakness, I think is a very good thing. And you continue, if you really think a stock is good, fundamentally sound, can survive whatever the, the vagaries of the somewhat emotional markets throwing at it, then you continue to pick at those. And that's what I'm doing now in a couple of uranium stocks, is just continue to buy them uh, as they go down. They have got they went down a couple of weeks ago, uranium kind of hit a bottom. Now whether that's a false bottom or not, we don't know, but it's bounced back since then. So. Yeah, that's a good way to play it on the Iranians. Yeah. Now, now, what about uh, other metals or other geographic locations uh, that you're liking right now? Specifically, you know, you're hitting a lot of properties and site visits over the summer. Is there any, any areas that you're going to that you'd like to share with the listeners? Well, for me, it's specific companies and specific projects. So it's not so much areas, it's where I get, can get in to look at things. I'll be in Quebec this summer, I'll be in the Yukon this summer somewhere in the northern tier. I just came out of Finland and Sweden because snow is off and I can get in there. So those are 
companies that I'm involved with. I'm an early on shareholder. I cover uh, uh, their sponsors of my website. So I'm not much of a, an area of play guy. I'm probably more of, of a guy who looks at commodities uh, picks the commodities that I like, and then go and look at the robust projects within that. So nice. that's, a that's the way. To it. Well, it's my way to approach it, and it seems to work. So. That's nice. Well, there you go. Mickey Fulp here with us from the mercenarygeologist.com talking about perceptions and perspective of what his expectation is going forward in the summer. Thanks for being with us, Mickey. Thanks once again, Scott. Again, it's Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. Thank you for joining us on Beneath the Surface with Scott Gibson. Stay tuned for Scott's interview with Sean Rakhmanov of SilverStrategies.com. See you next time.